What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in. We got a rain day. I didn't have much planned today, really. I just got a, a property I got to go pull weeds on. I got to cut one property. I didn't have much planned, right? So as I was sitting down to this morning, so I woke up early. Didn't have, I woke up around maybe like 5 o'clock. Didn't have nothing to do. I just started looking at properties, properties, properties. I told you I'm trying to find a property so I can go up with a shop, right? Properties, 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 properties. Then I looked at that for about like, yeah, maybe an hour. Then I jumped up. I said, man, let me get in my word. Let me get in my Bible, right? And as I'm reading my Bible, you know, I feel like the Bible is full of wisdom. This is what came to mind after I had read the Bible and prayed, right? To me, when you are raising a family, when a man is raising a family, and he is the sole provider of his family. There's no way you can move around day after day without seeking God's wisdom and constantly praying. Because you know, you know it is God who makes everything happen. Again, if you don't believe in God, you can just turn this off. Because what I'm fixing to say ain't going to make no kind of sense to you. Your family see you as daddy's providing, daddy's protecting, daddy's taking care of everything. As well as your wife, I'm a husband, and you know. My husband take care of everything. My husband won't work, blah, 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 blah. But I see it as, this is my, I be like, God, thank you for providing for us. You know, when I, I used to say, Lord, help me do this. Lord, help me do that. I just say, I be like, Lord, help me get the overtime. The, uh, Lord, help me get the jobs. The, now I just be like, God, thank you for providing for us. Lord, please continue to provide for us because it's him that's providing for us. It's not me. Oh man, I made $300,000 this year. No, it was God who gave you the work to allow you to make the 300,000 when you decided to invest in yourself to work for yourself. Now I didn't make 300,000. I wish I did, but you start, you, you see things different because, and I was looking at some properties. I was like, man, I can go rent this little warehouse. I can buy this. I can do this. I can do that. And then I thought about something. It's not like I'm anything I go buy. It's not, it's not like I'm buying it cash. That's why I have to finance it. And so when you finance something, they give you term payments. Five years, seven, 10, 20, 30 years to pay for things, right? Like this truck. They gave me five years to pay for this truck. Now it should be paid for sooner than that. But then I start thinking about it. Like my wife told me yesterday. She said, well, the kids going to be out of school Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Instantly, I said to myself, man, you're a fool. Because, see, had I known this, not only had I known it, but if I'd known it and had the money, we'd have been, we'd have been headed to uh, Pensacola this morning. I'd have waited till my kids get up. We'd have shot the Pensacola. Ate breakfast, had a good time, let my kids play on the beach because it's not cold anymore. It's nice weather. I'd have spent Monday. I'd have spent Tuesday. I'd have spent Wednesday in Pensacola. I'd have probably came back Wednesday evening or something. Two days down there in Florida just enjoying ourselves. And it would have cost the arm and the leg because it's not Florida season. So the hotels would have been peanuts on the dollar. And then I thought about something. See? See? Your finances ain't right. You got to report to this doggone job. This is what you get for not taking care of business. And see, my kids may not have remembered it, but I would have remembered it. I would have remembered the three days off for, for uh, Mardi Gras. We shot to Pensacola and just stayed out there and just relaxed. Or I could have went to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. Know, time you will never get back i understand you know when you when you got a young family you got to work you got to provide you got to do this you would never get moments when your daughter was two years old one years old three years old because as they get older they grow out of things your two-year-old daughter will be brutally honest with you daddy you smell and as they get a little bit older they're not going to want the hugs and kisses as they as they once did. So I got daughters. When they hit uh, 13, 14, 15, they still love me. But they're going to be, uh, 
they gonna be they gonna be infatuated with 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 the little boy at school that they think they in love with. See, right now, right now it's me. They in love with me. Right now it's me. They hug me, kiss me. I, I I'm it. I am it. It's gonna be only a so long. Or so it's gonna be. It's gonna be only for so long that you would get that. The business won't matter. Yes, you need money to provide for your family. That's when you stop and look back and say, do I really want a million dollar business? What is it going to take for me to build a million dollar business? You will never be home. The little business I'm running, I'm a, the little business I'm running Monday through Friday. I'm bowed up. I'm off Saturday. I'm off Sunday. I can flex my schedule. You see that? Now, I would have to just about triple my workload or quadruple it to get that million, $2 million. So that means I got to start working Saturdays? At what point? At what point? And then as I'm reading Ecclesiastes, it's, it's showing one generation cometh and another passeth away. Think about this. We are 2024. What guy tried to build his lawn business up in the 70s and the 80s? And I'm sure it worked for him. Because you got companies like U.S. Lawns and and uh, these, these uh, what you call them? What you call them? These franchises. These franchises started somewhere. The guy who, who the guy who, Sam Walton, who invented Walmart. He never envisioned for it to become this big nationwide. Did he waste his kid's life trying to build something up that he'd never seen? Well, my kids enjoy it. You don't think a hundred million dollars will hurt a twenty-one year old? It will. It it won't teach him work ethic. He will be cocky. It, it takes a certain individual to make a hundred million dollars and stay humble. At what cost? At what cost are you chasing that money? I just want the money to have a comfortable lifestyle, pay all my bills, keep my bills paid up three months in advance, and go on vacation. That's it. I don't care about a million dollar bid. That's why I don't care nothing about it. If I didn't have kids, yeah, I still wouldn't run up no million dollar bid. Because at what point? Who am I leaving it to? Who am I leaving it to? Really sit down and think about that. I told y'all. I told y'all. I just want $5,000 a week profit. As a solo guy. If I have help, I want $10,000 a week profit. And I'm done. I don't need all that, man. We did a million. We did two million. Then I got 20 guys working for me, 10 lawnmowers, five trucks, a big two-acre shop. Man, listen. Do I still want a shop? I don't even know. Yes, I want to get all this stuff from around my doggone house, like the dump trailer and the truck and this truck and the lawn trailer. And I got some stuff in my back here. I, I would love for my wife to be able to park in the garage. So will it be now? And then it goes back to man. I can go right up here because look, I, I was online yesterday. This is already sitting outside anyway. I can rent me a parking lot for one hundred and forty dollars a month. I can park this truck and this trailer in a park in a parking lot for one hundred and forty dollars a month. And what I do, I just I already got trackers on the trailer. I can just put trackers on the truck. And then look, the lawn trailer, I was I was looking at a garage at the same storage. So I'd be out of I think 150 for the parking spot and another 180 for the garage. So where we at? 180 plus 150, that's two. Let me see. 180 plus 150, 250, about $330 a month. $330 a month, and then I would have to rent another parking spot to keep this truck. Or I could just drive this truck home every day. So I'd be at about $330 a month for a for a big enough for a big enough garage to park that trailer. And then to keep my um right here. Now I can do that. Spend about $350 to, I just average it off at $400 a month for storage on the equipment. About four hundred a month, and honestly, I would rent another little small area, the way I can kind of, not say to make an office out of, but to kind of, like when I got material getting delivered, just just an extra space. So about five hundred a month, and it'd probably be cheaper than that to store everything. 
Well, man, you'll never own the land. Don't matter. It don't matter if I never own the land. It depends on what you're trying to do. My the, the way my subdivision is set up, it's not big enough for me to put a shop in my backyard. So, and honestly, I, I might end up going that route. Because when it's said and done, I could just walk away from it all. I ain't got to, man, I got to sell this property. I got to pay taxes on this property. But, bro, you'll never own it. I mean, that's 6000 a year, bro, that you'll never own. And look how long you'll be in business. I don't know how long I'll be in business. If, you, if, you, if your company's making the money, that $600 should be a drop in the bucket. So that's what you got to look at. And, and look, I may be able to find me an acre lot, 20 grand, clear it off for another eight, and go up with a little metal building for about 30. So I'll be out of 50. And being out of 50,000 ain't bad either. I'm just not pursuing all that no more, man. Do I want it? Yeah. But I'm not about to get... Man, look, I'm not about to tie my life up financing junk. Hey, look, let's say next year I go buy the land. All right, I finance the land. Hurry up. All right, pay the land off. All right, boom. Then next year, next year I clear it off, and then I finance the building, and then pay the building off. There's two more years gone. There's two more years gone. Your baby that you're holding in your arms right now, she's running around. Your oldest done got a little bit older. You, you don't think two years from now, you going to, I'm going to need some more moors in two years. My v ride got $700 on it. My X mark only got like 400 Yeah, they can hold up for another two years, but then at some point I'm going to need two more moors. These moors are like 14000 a piece now. That's 28 more grand. All right, all right finance twenty eight grand, pay it off one year. Four years gone by. How long you think this truck I'm sitting in going to last with 200,000 miles? Well, man, go ahead and buy a new truck. But, man, look, for the write-off, let's just buy brand new. Let's buy brand new for the write-off. Let's just buy brand new. All right? One, two, three, four, five. All right, man, we finally got that paid off. Nine years. You, you, th you think my wife's vehicle going to last <laughs> the next nine years? Well, man, throw her a car in the middle of that. I got to work a little bit hard. Nine years. All right. All right. Finally got the shop. Finally got my new truck, my backup truck, the miles climb. Because when you buy the brand new truck, you don't drive the brand new truck. You drive your backup. You swap them. So nine years, the backup truck that's sitting here right now with 100,000 miles, nine years. Well, man, I'm going to preserve the brand new one and buy another used one. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. We eight years, we, 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 what is it, eight or ten? No, nah, that's like, I don't know, I lost count. Let's just say ten, hold on. The twelve years done went by. I lost count. Twelve years have gone by. My oldest daughter has left the house. My two middle daughters, they probably in college. And the baby that I'm carrying right now is 13, 14. She in love with the boy at school. And I look up. Yeah, you got all these things. Everybody on YouTube love you. I'm going to conferences. I'm making money. I got some good help. Where's the time gone, man? The time has gotten away from you because you was chased. Oh, what, what? Hold on. What? 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 The Bible say it. One generation cometh, another one passeth away. You see that? See, my time is. See, I'm, I'm 35 this year. I don't know if I'm gonna get another 35 years. 35 years really ain't a long time. But 35 years from now, I'm 70. You're not, you're not running a bit. You can, you can run a business at 70. Your life is over with, bro. Locking in new properties isn't going to excite you no more. Going out with your wife and kid. Oh, your wife, your kids got their own life and they don't really care because they're doing the same thing. They're, 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 they're I gotta go to college. I gotta get this degree. I gotta move up. They're doing the same thing. All you have now is your grandkids. And when your grandkids get 12 to 15, they're not going to care about you no more either. You see that? You know, the biggest flex a man can have when he's 70 years old is for his kids to want to come and see him, come visit him, grandkids. I had this one client. They was in their 70s. Every week, their kids came to see him, their grandkids came to see him, and their great-grandkids came to see him. Had a, and they was just average, normal people. The, the husband had a good job. The wife didn't work. They raised a family. 
And when they died, they died around love. I don't know if those people still alive. Had another client, well off. Got kids, grandkids, now how to come see him. Because daddy was consumed with money. Yeah, he lived a good life. Yeah, the kids' first cars was BMWs. They don't give they don't give a crap about that. You see that? Do you see that? Look how I just look how I just broke down 12 years of my life chasing stuff. No, nah, no, nah, heck no. Nah. You know what I'm fixing to do? You know what I'm fixing to do? I'm going to keep running my business out of my house until I decide which route I want to go down. If I want to just rent a storage for five, 600 a month, hey, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, Gibson's Lawn Service. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Gibson. Uh, this uh, uh John McIntosh over here with... uh. Uh, blue green apartments and we're looking for somebody who maintain the apartments uh, we're paying five thousand a month we need to cut every weekly the shrubs trim mulch install weed pull it oh man that's me that's a lick man five thousand a month hey you missed the shrub hey we need mulch hey man i got a friend he got some apartments on the other side of town he willing to pay the same thing you bow it up versus man i'm gonna take my little 80 properties I'm making sixteen grand a month, four thousand a week with my eighty properties. I'm running solo, weekends off. Huh? I'm gonna hire some part time help on Fridays so I can get home a little quicker to my family. So I grind Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday I pay me some help, twenty dollars an hour. Instead of me getting off at five on Fridays, I'm home at lunchtime. So I work from. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5 hours. I'm paying my help $20 an hour. He getting $100, and I throw him a tip, $120, come back next week. We get done early on Fridays. So now I got my 4000 in my pocket. Well, $3,880, because I paid my help, $120. Got $3,800 in my pocket. I'm at home with lunchtime on Friday, with Saturday and Sunday off. And in 20 years, you done ran up a million dollar business. And in 20 years, hey, I done bumped my 4000 a week up to 7000 And I was able to be there for my kids. We still rode decent vehicles. We still went on vacation. And when I'm 70, my grandkids, my kids will want to be around me. But if not, I can at least go to sleep at night knowing oh, I didn't put money over my family. And I kept God first. Man, I'm not about to consume my life up with no doggone lawn business and money and, man, trucks and equipment. Heck no.